how do you do a two-handed tie? All right, this is one of the most basic techniques in surgery, whether you're a nurse, a medical student, a surgical resident, anybody that ties a knot needs to know how to do it right. So today we're gonna do a quick video on how to do a two-handed tie. Let's go. All right, so the two-handed tie, the most basic surgical tie in I don't know, it's just the most basic surgical tie. You gotta know how to do it, and I'm gonna show you how to do it with this piece of string. The first thing is just, how do you hold suture? And the string is the most visible, so this would be probably like using like a number 12 or something, right? Uh, the thickest I've seen is a number two, but um, yeah, it's nice and thick, but great to practice with. So when we're thinking about how to hold suture, I like to balance the suture on my middle fingers, okay? And that keeps the thumb and the index finger free because those are the fingers that are doing all the work in the two-handed tie. Always, when we think about tying, we want to lay down square knots. Well, how do we do this? It's almost impossible to lay down a square knot if you start with your suture uncrossed. So we wanna start by crossing our suture. And I'm gonna take the right-handed suture and I'm gonna put that in front of the left-handed suture. And then I'm just gonna re-grab, again, the suture right on top of my middle fingers, keeping my thumb and index finger free, all right? So what's the first knot? Well, we want it to go square. So the two knots are gonna be the thumb and the index finger knot. So the first one I see is the thumb, and that's gonna, lay this knot down square. And what does that mean? Well, I'll show you. So the first move is the thumb comes under the string, we cross over, we put our finger through, we grab it with our thumb, and then we push, okay? And you can see that lays that knot down square, all right? The second is putting it on the index finger, crossing over, thumb through, index down, back, and now we cross our hands and we have a nice square knot. And so now we're and now we're set up to do it again. So index, cross, thumb through, index on, over, and that's gonna go down nice and square. You can see that going down square. We do that again. The thumb through, over, index under, thumb back, pull it, and that's nice and square. The next one is the index. Come through with the index finger, Cross with your hand, thumb through, index on, back through, and again, we're putting that down nice and square. Then finally, we come over our thumb, index through, thumb on top, push the thumb through the loop, and we're coming back down square. Now, it might be helpful if I show you a top-down view, so let's give that a shot. And so here you can see I have my hands, my uh, suture is balanced on my middle finger. We're going to cross. So we have the right over the left. Okay, again, over my finger. And I'm going to start by putting my thumb through, cross over, index through, thumb down, boom. Okay, we can see that knot going down square. The second throw is index in, cross, thumb through, index on, boom. Again, boom, look here, and we just work on getting those knots down square, and we have to cross our hands in order to do it, okay? Now, what if we want to throw a surgeon's knot? We can do that by just going through twice, okay? Again, one, two. And you can finish that off. Now, a surgeon's knot is just the first throw is two. And then you follow it up with single throws, just making sure that the knots are going down square by crossing your hands. I hope that was easy and straightforward. Two-handed knot, that is the most important knot to learn how to throw. And if you can practice it on a pleat piece of elastic like this, or like I showed before with a two by four, the hook screws in an industrial rubber band or even a hair band. 
So you have some tension to put that knot onto. Make sure you're not tying air knots, all right? You also want to make sure that you're not lifting up too much, okay? If you lift up, you can tear tissues and traumatize tissues. Okay, so the two-handed knot also showed you the surgeon's knot. Again, the surgeon's knot, I'm starting to get short on sutures, short on string here, but if we go, it's just two throws, get that knot down square, and then we can follow that up. Oop. And then we can follow that up with single throws, making sure that we're not pulling up on the tissue. Okay, two-handed knot. Next time we'll do a couple of one-handed knots, and then I'll show you the one-handed surgeon's knot. Not really... Um, practical, but it's a lot of fun to throw. So if you like this content, make sure to like, subscribe, share it with your friends, put a comment below. What type of knots do you usually tie? And do you have any other tricks that would be good to share? So leave that comment. As always, stay safe, study hard. I'll see you next time.